So this is the story of how I made a game where Mario is awful. What the hell? It all started with Game Wisdom reaching out the mark of 10,000 subscribers. For those who don't know, Game Wisdom published game design books. They do interviews, analysis, reviews, everything from AAA to Aegis. Good stuff. Recommend. So with 10,000 subs, they announced their first game gen. In summary, I had two weekends to make a game and the theme was opposite day, meaning that I had to make a game that was the opposite of what is expected in terms of genre, gameplay, mechanics, and so on. While brainstorming, I thought which sort of game could receive this opposite day treatment and still be recognizable. And which game is more recognizable than the classic Italian plumber hero. So that was the idea for my first prototype, to turn the tables of this classic. So in this game, you play as the dinosaur turtle, you kidnap the princess, and then you try to defeat Marco using these menus or friends or whatever. And that was the concept. To test this concept, I prototyped a simple platformer with an AI following waypoints and reacting to the enemies. So when I tested this concept, I thought this is it. Here I'm playing as the minions in yellow against the AI in red. It's very fun to try to beat the AI and see how it tries to smash the minions and again I'm controlling the minions here in yellow. It's easy to rage against the AI, especially when it grabs the flower power and starts shooting fireballs at you. So yeah, I, I was basically sold. This was the concept that I was going with for this gen. Oh my God, no So way. this is Bowser, I mean, Boltar. He can shot fireballs and dash. It's much easier to control than the minions. The first thing you do as Boltar is to grab the princess and run to your castle with her. You gotta use your imagination. I promise he actually carried the princess in the final game. Now that I had a gameplay that was somewhat fun, I decided to commit to the art. I looked at some references in Pinterest, I, I chose a color palette from lowspec.com and I started drawing Krita. I used a combination of pixels, filters and layout styles. This way I could quickly test different shading, dithering and colors. Designing a whole tie set for this game would be too much work and I had a limited time, so I brought the whole level as an image and I drew on top of it. The outline and much of the shading come from layer styles and palettization filter that I used in Krita, so this made the process much easier. Once I was happy with the level, I went on to draw the characters. For the plumber, I initially went with a recognizable red outfit and later I decided that a desaturated purple would better fit the vile nature of this awful character. I also added an extra outline to make the foreground pop a bit more. <laughs> then for Boltar, I wanted to make him look friendly and the opposite of Bowser, actually. At the end, I'm quite happy with how Boltar and, and uh, his menus ended up looking. And these are the mushroom guards that Boltar will face when playing with the princess. And of course, we can't forget about the brother of the famous plumber. Then I thought it would be fun to have the body of the characters in a semi-ragdoll way whenever they're defeated. So I had to draw those as well. Oh, 
Also, I had to drop the princess being carried because us both are gonna carry her in the first level. Um, I did. I was very happy with how the art turned out to become. So, yeah, happy with this. By the second weekend, the basic gameplay was ready and almost all the art was already uh, made. So I went to work on the menu, editing the music, the sound effects, and to do a lot of polish. By polish, I mean toe tips to help the player, bug fixing, and a lot of juice in the form of effect, green shake, puffs of smoke, and many other small details. Then my girlfriend play tested the game she gave some insights, some adjustments to make, and the main one being that the game was way too hard. So, in order for people to be able to finish the game within a few minutes, I had to dumb down the AI and make its decision making a bit slower. So, I've added a few timers for you to choose what to do next. The last thing missing was the final boss fight. I improved the waypoint system so that the AI can track which quadrant the player is and it's really funny to see the AI chasing the player and trying to jump on top of it at all costs. Also, if Marco has an extra life, instead of jumping on Voltar, he would grab him and jump into the lava pit for the demise of both. So this means that the player have to take all extra lives of Marco before the final battle. So this is the story of how I made a game where Mario is awful. Awful Marco Bros is freely available to play on itch.io and you don't even have to download the game, you can play it directly from your browser. The link is in the description and yeah, you can play it, the game with your keyboard or with gamepad and that's pretty much it. It was really fun game gen and I'm quite happy with the result and if you have the time, please check the entries of the other participants. There was some quite unique ones, so yeah, you should check those out. A special thanks to Game Wisdom for organizing this jam, and thank you for watching.